Hey there, this is Shira from Anima. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can publish a website directly from Sketch using Anima. Check out our other videos to learn how to get started with Anima and Sketch, add animations, breakpoints, videos, and more using Anima. You can find those videos in the description below. So here we are in Sketch with our final design. First, make sure you've set your homepage from the Anima plugin. Now this artboard has been set as my flow starting point. Next, I'll make sure my breakpoints have been set up properly. And now I'm ready to preview my design. Once I'm satisfied with how my design looks in my preview, I'll choose the team and project where I want to save my work. And then I'll sync my draft to my Anima web app. Now that my design has been synced, as an Anima Pro user, I can either publish it to my custom domain from any provider such as Google Domains or GoDaddy, or I can publish a free Anima public link. From my project page in the top right corner, I'll click on Project Settings. From here, I can set and access different settings for my project. Under the General tab, I can see my basic project information, and I can archive or delete my project. Under Guests, I can invite guests to specific projects or add more team members to my Anima team. Under the Public Link tab, I can enable my interactive public link to be set live and share it with teammates, users, or whoever I'd like. I can also find the link here under Subdomain. And here is where Anima Pro users can connect their custom domains to their site. Anima offers lots of great features to add if I'm building a prototype, such as enabling hotspots to display, showing the restart button, or navigation on the bottom of the page. And I can also enable password protection for my site if I want to keep it private. Open up additional settings to see more ways to set up and customize your website. Under Site Information, I am able to set a favicon, as well as a cover image, which will display when my site is shared on social media. I can also set up a custom app name and icon to be viewed on mobile devices. Click here to set up SEO settings and tags, as well as analytics. And finally, under Form Submissions, you can download any entries that have been submitted to your forms. Under the Versions tab, I can view or roll back to a previously synced version of my website and set it live. And there you have it, we've published the website directly from Sketch. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos to learn more about using Anima with Sketch. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.